creating the Azure VM, we had seen that via the data block, we were able to reference our existing subnet and we were able to get the ID of the subnet. So this is nothing but accessing a property of a resource on the Azure platform. See, if you go on to Azure, let's go on to our virtual network. Here, if I go on to properties, here you can see the various properties of the virtual network, such as the name, its location, the resource group it belongs to, and what is the resource ID. So this is a unique ID given onto the resource. And if you want to access other properties which you can set or if you want to get the value of, so for example, if you want to get the subnets, this would be kind of a separate property for the Azure virtual network. So all of these are properties of the virtual network resource. And why Terraform, you have the ability to access these properties. See, when you're creating a resource, so for example, we're creating the network interface. Here we mentioned the name, the location, the resource group, etc. So these are all properties of the underlying resource. When it comes on to creating the resource in Terraform, these are all known as arguments because see, initially you are trying to mention what should be the property of this Azure network interface. What should be the name of the network interface? What should be its location? What should be its IP configuration? So in Terraform language, these are known as arguments when you create the resource. But for an existing resource or even within the Terraform configuration file, you can access these various properties. So all of these arguments. So for example, if I go on to the Terraform documentation for a network interface. So yes, all of these are arguments. And this is the argument reference but then you can also access them as properties. In this case, they are known as attributes. So in Terraform language, they are known as attributes and these map onto the properties of the resource on the Azure platform. See, I know initially there might be a little bit of a confusion, but once you start working with Terraform, once you start creating resources, you'll have a better understanding. So understand that in the Terraform language, when you're creating a resource, you mention arguments. And the value for these arguments actually translate onto the properties of the resource that will be deployed onto Azure. But then note that for existing resources, you can actually access the properties of the resource via Terraform itself. We had seen by the use of that data block. And also for the resources that you deploy within the Terraform configuration file, you have the attributes as well. So these attributes for a resource can be again used in your Terraform configuration file so that once you start creating a lot of Terraform configuration files, you'll actually get the hang of all of this about arguments, about attributes, about properties and how you use all of them.